Today we'll be slashing up lesson 9 servo. For this lesson we'll be needing the Elego Mega 2560 R3, the servo, 3 M to M jumper wires, and a blade of your choice. Let's check out the lesson plan. Okay, the lesson immediately introduces the servo. The servo is a type of geared motor that can rotate 180 degrees. It is controlled by sending electrical pulses from the 2560 R3 board. The servo has three wires. The brown wire is ground, the red one is power, aka voltage, and the orange one is the signal wire. They then highlight the specifications for the SG90, which is the servo we'll be using for this lesson plan. Next up is the wiring diagram. In this lesson we'll be using the 5V, D9 PWM, and ground pin connectors. The 5 volt will be connected to the servo's red wire, which is for power. The D9 PWM will be connected to the servo's orange, which is the signal wire. And the ground pin connector will be connected to the servo's ground wire, which is the ground wire. Okay, now for the code. Firstly, pound includes servo.h means that we'll want to make sure you have the servo library installed. And uh, I'm going to quickly showcase how to do that real quick. So we're going to click sketch, include library add zip library. Now you're going to want to look for your master folder, which is, which is this guy right over here. Once we select this, we'll hop in. We're going to look for English code lesson nine servo, and then we're going to select the servo uh, zip file and then click open. Then in void setup, we have the my servo dot attach nine. This will attach pin connector nine to send signals to the servo via PWM. The next line after that sets the servo to move to the 90 degree position before starting the void loop. Surprisingly, the void loop is kind of simple. So my servo dot right moves the servo at any degree we'd like as long as it doesn't exceed 180 degrees because that's what our servo's max turn radius is. So the code itself has the servo move to a 90 degree position before waiting half a second, then moving to a 30 degree position before then waiting another half a second, moving back to the 90 degree position, waiting half a second, and then moving to a 150 degree position before waiting another half a second. Then at that point, it just loops itself over and over again. Alrighty, with that out of the way, let's build it. Thank you. 